In the dplyr library, you can take an existing character column and turn it into two or more new columns using the separate function. So we're just going to show how to do that in this video. First, we're going to create some data, some fake date data here to separate. Now you can see we made a data frame, but it only has one column called dates. And we can use separate to turn these dates into three different columns for the month, day, and year. So to do that, we're going to take the data, we'll pipe it to separate. This first argument here is just the name of the column you want to do separate on. In this case, we only made one column, so that's what we're going to pass in. The next argument is a vector of the new column names you want to create. So we're going to create three new columns, month, day, and year. And then the last argument here, sep, is just the separator that you want to split the string on to make the new columns. In this case, the dates are separated using this slash character, so that's what we're passing in as the separator. And when we run this, we should get three new columns with these names. Now you can essentially do the reverse operation, taking existing columns and combining them into one character column using the unite function. So I'll show how to do that below. We're going to do the same operation to separate the data, but then after that, we're going to pipe that. So we're piping this data we created before to unite. And then you just pass in the name of the new column you want to create after the unite. We're going to call that new dates. And then you pass in a vector of the columns you're uniting. We're in this case, just passing in the same ones that we created before, because those are the ones we're combining back. And we'll use a different separator this time to show that we actually did something here. So we're going to change the separator to a comma, whereas originally it was this slash. So we'll run that. And you can see that those columns that we created have now been combined back into a new column called new dates. And now they have commas for separators instead of the slashes like before. In the next lesson, we'll cover two more data reshaping functions in dplyr the gather and spread functions, which let you switch between wide and long data formats. So see you again next time.